Well, we got the hood up on the Honda today. Thought Hondas never break. Welcome back everybody, David Shepard here on the Humble Hotshot channel with a quick video for you guys explaining how the charging system on your car works. I know a lot of you guys out there that watch the channel are mechanically inclined, but thought this might be helpful. We're working on the charging system on this Honda, so I thought I'd give a video with a brief explanation of how that charging system works and might be able to help you guys in the future. So I'm going to get right into that under the hood of the Honda right after a word of scripture, of course. So today I want to share Galatians 5.16, which says, Keep in step with the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So a great simple verse that reminds us to walk with the Spirit, be led by God's Spirit, rather than our own selfish, fleshy, carnal desires. And... You know, the best way I could explain it is that it's a little bit like this car behind me. It needs fuel to run on to keep it going, just like we do, but it needs the right fuel. You know, if, if you put the wrong type of fuel in that car, it's not going to get you very far. And if we feed ourselves on the things of the flesh and just our carnal, selfish desires, they give us that little rush at first, but it doesn't sustain us, it doesn't keep us going. But if we give ourselves the fuel that we were meant to run on, God's spirit, then we will be able to walk through the, the struggles of life and run strong. So just a little bit more about what that means. If, if you're wondering, what does it mean like to walk by the spirit? Well, God's word tells us that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So if we think on these things, if we really try to walk through life in love, in joy, in peace, if we really try to practice patience and kindness and so on, then we'll be walking with the Spirit. We'll be satisfying our, our innermost longings and we won't just be walking by the flesh and pursuing every little high and pleasure that the world offers. So thanks for listening to that guys. Now I'm going to get right into the Honda behind me like I said and today I just want to explain kind of simply for you guys out there that might be having charging problems, dead battery issues, how the charging system on your vehicle works. And there's basically three main components. So you've got your battery, of course, you've got your alternator, run off the belt over here, and then you've got what's called a voltage regulator. And the voltage regulator is does exactly that. It regulates the amount of voltage that the alternator puts out into the battery. Now on modern cars, probably anything from like the mid to late 80s on in most cases, the voltage regulator is part of the alternator. It's integral to the alternator. So a lot of times if that goes bad, you're just replacing the whole alternator anyway. But those are your three main components. Your battery is supposed to hold the charge and that's what starts your car up, you know, getting it after sitting overnight. That battery holds the charge to start it up the first time. And then the alternator, whenever the car's running, should be charging that battery. And again, the voltage regulator will regulate how much voltage goes into that battery. And it's a problem if it's undercharging, of course, but it's also an issue if it's overcharging and those can fail both ways. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to test, you know, if your battery's going dead or you're having charging issues, what you could do is get yourself a voltmeter here, a nice multimeter. They're pretty affordable and they will help you with all sorts of car trouble. So I'm gonna take my black lead, put it on, uh, let's see if I could do this with one hand, put it on the negative battery post and then red lead on the positive, and you can see we've got 12.6 volts. Put that on there, 12.59. So right around 12, 12 and a half volts is what your battery should have with the vehicle off. It's a 12 volt battery, so anywhere from like 12.2 to 12.8, right in that range, if the number starts with a 12, you'll be good to go. Now, when your vehicle is running, you could test the alternator. So with the vehicle off, see if you have 12 volts. That's a good way to test if your battery is good. And now if we come inside and start the vehicle, we'll do that same test again with the engine running. So now the engine's running, the belt is turning that alternator, and it should be putting charge into our battery. So do that same test again. Let's put our leads right on the battery post, and you can see we've got 14.8 volts. Put the probe on, 14.82. So, first test will tell you if you've got good voltage in your battery with the engine off. Again, looking for somewhere in that 12 volt range. 
and then when your vehicle's running and the alternator's charging, you should be in that 14 volt range. Again, about 14.2 to 14.8. This is a brand new alternator, and you saw it's putting out 14.8 volts. So that's a great way to test. Just simply say your battery's going dead or, or your car's losing charge, losing voltage, and you don't know if it's the battery or the alternator. That's a simple test you could do with a multimeter, both with the engine off and then with the engine on, because if your battery has 12 volts with the engine off, but then it remains at 12 volts with the engine running, then you know you have a bad alternator. It's not charging the battery. You need to see that 14 volt range. So it's a quick test you could do. There is a lot more to the electrical system. You know, the amperage of the battery, in addition to the volts, the cold cranking amps, is really what gives you the power to start the car, especially when it's cold out like this. Um, but this is a quick voltage only test to be able to show you that. So again, in the reverse, concept if you have 14 say 14.8 volts with the car running but then you turn it off and you don't see that 12 volts out of the battery or you you can leave it sit for about an hour or so test it again if you see the, the voltage draining out of that battery you know hey I've got 14 volts with it running my alternator is good and it's just my battery that's bad again that third component the voltage regulator typically part of the alternator I should say you know, old cars would have an external voltage regulator, a different part that the current flows through. Don't really see that anymore. But with new cars, it's either part of the alternator or sometimes the computer, the engine's ECU, controls the voltage um, and it's actually part of the engine computer. So that's the other possibility for a voltage regulator. But hope this helps you guys with that quick test. Again, use a multimeter and just got to have it set on voltage, of course. And then DC, this is all DC power. And then set it up for, um, you know, we're looking for 12 to 14 volts. So set it up to be able to read those tenths of volts right there. So, again, test with the car off. Test it again with the car on. You can see this vehicle's got a new battery and a new alternator. Also threw a new belt on there. And the deal with this one is that the battery actually froze. We see that quite a bit here in Colorado. We've had a really cold winter. And the acid inside the battery actually froze causes cause that battery to short out the case was actually all swollen and that not only ruined the battery but blew the main fuse in the car from that short and also shorted a diode in the alternator so this car has got a new battery new alternator the voltage regulator is internal on this one and it's got a new belt as well so that's the last thing i'll mention with your charging system obviously that alternator is belt driven so if you're going to have to replace that take a good look at your belt you can see how cracked this one is those cracks all throughout here so we went ahead and put a new belt on and uh praise god this vehicle starting it's charging everything seems to be working properly and uh hope you guys hope you guys uh have a little understanding kind of basic knowledge of your charging system now and if you're in, running into dead battery issues you'll at least know a way to test it and i hope you guys will uh strive to walk by the spirit strive to just seek the things of the lord each day and not just what our carnal fleshy selfish desires are so Thanks for watching, guys. God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you on the next video.